Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey's secret date night. Plus, are these two headed for an engagement sometime soon? Hi, welcome back to A Quick Look, a pop culture show where I'll be taking you through the biggest headlines in entertainment and current events. I'm Zoe Jewell, and let's get into today's Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey inspired show, which, you know, is nothing new for us over here at A Quick Look, but um, there's some stuff to talk about. Where do we even begin? Okay, first things first, where we left off last week, Travis showed up for the, I'm not even sure what show it was of Taylor's Singapore run, but it was one of her Singapore shows. He was there for a total of two shows, finished out her Asia leg of the tour with her in Singapore. Then it became a question of what are these two going to do now? Because for those who don't know and haven't kept up with Taylor's tour schedule, like I have and other Swifties have, she now has two months off before she picks up the tour again in Europe in like early to mid-May. So obviously we know, and we'll get to it, she's got an album to promote next month. There's a lot of things going on, but she has some free time now. And this is the first time in their history as a couple where they both have free time at the same time. Obviously they started dating when Travis was in the thick of football season. Taylor had some free time that part of the year because her tour was on pause Then once Travis finished his football season, she was on tour. So this is kind of the first time in their, what are we at now? Seven, eight months of their relationship, depending on, you know, when we believe they actually started to date, um, where they actually both have the time to just relax and spend together. So we'll get into that more later in the show. Um, But this is uncharted waters for the two of them. And I'm curious to see what happens next. Okay, so they finished the tour. They then head back to Los Angeles. Now, the Oscars were on Sunday night, and I think a lot of people, a lot of Swifties were hoping that Taylor and Travis would be making their big red carpet debut at the Vanity Fair Oscars party. For those who are not familiar with this party, it is a it is the it is the prime A-list cream of the crop after party that happens after the Oscars where basically not only do every, like all the Oscar winners and like major, major, major people that went to the Oscars go to this party, but also major A-listers who didn't even go to the Oscars go to this party. Truly like everyone goes, it's a, it's a huge deal. It's a very, very big, big deal. And, um, people were wondering, are these two going to make a red carpet appearance? Now, from my perspective, Taylor has never actually made a red carpet um, moment or debut. She, she's never walked a red carpet with one of her boyfriends in the past. Um, so the idea of her doing it with Travis would be like a huge deal. I don't know if I'm the only one that feels that way, but like her walking a red carpet with a partner would be just as shocking to me or as sort of surprising to me as when she surprise released folklore, (laughs) which maybe sounds super dramatic, but it's never been done before, so I think I would take. I think I would be very shocked by it. Well, it didn't end up happening. They didn't go. People were like, "They're they're in LA. Like, why didn't they go?" People were kind of bummed to not to, to not get that moment selfishly. But it turns out they did go to some Oscar after parties, but they were in secret. They had their own little secret date night. So according to some publications, People, Entertainment Tonight. They actually attended the Gucci Oscars party, which is actually called, quote, the party. Um, and it's held at talent manager Guy Oseri's house. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Um, but apparently this party is like secret, 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 secret. Like no one's allowed to take photos. No one's allowed to like use their phones. I think there's like, from what I've read, there's one photographer, like a paid photographer that goes to take photos, but he won't or they won't share those photos without the person's consent. Like it is a top secret hush hush party. So they clearly did not want to be seen on Sunday night. They were clearly wanting to have their own little private moment, Um, but they weren't the only ones there. There were lots of other people there. I actually read that a lot of um, 
Taylor and Travis's like friends were there, like Channing Tatum, Zoe Kravitz. Um, I think Sabrina Carpenter, who opens for Taylor Swift on her tour, she was there. And then a number of other celebrities, um, Billie Eilish, Killian Murphy, Austin Butler, Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lawrence. Can you imagine Travis Kelsey having a conversation with Leonardo DiCaprio? I mean, I could actually see them kind of getting along, but that's also something I never, ever thought would happen in a million years, those two meeting and chatting. And maybe they didn't actually meet, but it is it is crazy that they're all in the same world at this point in time. Uh, and we did get some sources who kind of revealed what Travis and Taylor were like at the party. So this is from People Magazine. They said, quote, they were on the patio and, it, and in great moods. She had a very happy, giant smile. He was protective of her and she was delightful and glowing. They seemed very happy together and loving the night. So there we have it. We didn't get pictures of it, but you know what? I kind of love this for them because I feel like so much of their relationship has been so in the public eye and not, for, not because they want it to be, but because it just happens to be like, if she goes to a football game, it's just naturally going to be in the public eye. If he goes to a concert, people are going to see it. And so I kind of like that they were able to just do their own thing, have their own little private hang, fun time without a bunch of people like putting cameras in their faces um, and people seeing it. I think it's I think it probably felt normal for them, um, which I love. Now, the bigger question kind of is, what's what's next for these two? And there were some interesting articles that came out over the weekend from, I, I believe, pretty reputable sources. I feel like Entertainment Tonight is kind of like, I feel like they tend to get, I don't know, I don't know this for certain, so I'm not even going to say that it's fact. It's just my own opinion that I feel like they get information from Taylor's camp. It always feels pretty accurate. They were also the first publication to um, announce Joe and Taylor's breakup. Like they, they had that information first. So it makes me think that they get some insider information. But they've been releasing some articles that like are kind of alluding to the fact that Taylor and Travis are on the path to an engagement. They don't explicitly say in, engagement in the article, but it makes me think. I'm going to read an excerpt from one of the articles that came out this weekend. Um, so it, it said that Taylor is, quote, happier than ever and so in love. She likes that Travis is so proud of her and that he isn't afraid to show his love for her publicly. She's in a great place and having the best time performing, making music, and feeling free to live her life more openly. Travis is enjoying being on tour with Taylor and is happy to support her. Okay, now this is the most important part. Quote, Taylor views Travis as a true partner and someone that she can have a real future with, close quote. These types of quotes and lines from, quote, exclusive sources don't just come out of thin air. That, to me, is a bit of a, Easter egg's the wrong word, but kind of a breadcrumb of sorts. Like, they're sort of laying the seeds so that when they actually, if and when they do get engaged, you're not surprised by it because you've been told over the course of months and months, yeah, this is what Taylor and Travis want. They see this in each other. They want this for the future, et cetera, et cetera. And so I don't know. I really feel like an engagement is soon. Now, I want to just say, too, these two people never have to get engaged or get married. You don't, I, I'm not saying it's that, that they should be or they should do whatever they want to do and they should live their lives how they want to live them, right? As Taylor Swift says, you know, in her song Lavender Haze, um, we only see women as, you know, a one night stand or a wife, right? Like that's what she's basically, she basically called out the public in that song being like, stop thinking that we're only good for being one of two things. Um, so I'm not trying to do that to her, but I do feel like we're heading in that direction just from reading the tea leaves. And I'd be curious to know what you guys think, if you think an engagement's happening soon, if so, when, um, because I feel like we're heading down that path and it wouldn't shock me if by summertime we get an engagement announcement. I also think though too, they're so, 
they're so there's a the Taylor camp is such a well-oiled machine that I feel like by the time we as a public actually know of, of an engagement they will have been privately engaged for a while like I don't envision like he proposes on a Saturday night and then by Sunday morning we all know about it um, I think it's gonna be they'll have some time to kind of enjoy it privately before then the public knows about it that's at least my opinion if it should happen but it's a busy next couple of months for these two despite the fact that they have time off we know that taylor has her new album coming out next month so i'm assuming there'll be a bit of promotional stuff that she's going to do for that she's she's at the point in her career where she doesn't have to do any promotion at all to put out an album she could literally just you know press release on whatever day i think april 19th was is when the album comes out and she could still have she could break every record and streaming record and people would buy it you know i mean more than anything else but i feel like she will do some stuff and like maybe snl wouldn't shock me um some late night shows travis for the most part has free time i think this is his time in his life or his you know year where he does a lot of his like promotional stuff where he films his commercials and kind of like does his off the field um stuff that he needs to get done his off the field duties and whatnot um because obviously when he's in season it's pretty hard to do that stuff but i think they're gonna spend a lot of time in new york i think they're gonna spend some time i i think they're gonna go to nashville because he hasn't been to like her hometown i think they're gonna probably spend some time there I also wouldn't shock me if they make a trip to Pennsylvania to spend some time with um, Travis's family, you know, Jason, Kylie, and then also maybe for Taylor to meet Travis's nieces. I could kind of see them doing all this stuff that like a normal couple would do where it's like, oh yeah, I'm going to take you back to my childhood home, or I'm going to take you to meet my extended family, you know, that kind of stuff that they haven't had a chance to do because of their crazy schedules. I also wouldn't be shocked if they went on some sort of like vacation somewhere like a beach vacation or just kind of like did like a romantic destination thing um because again so much of their life has been so chaotic and traveling and going all over the world so this is their kind of time to sort of soak it in together and i do want to say too because we didn't get the we didn't get the red carpet moment at the vanity fair oscar party i think I would not be shocked if these two make their red carpet debut at the Met Gala in New York the first Monday in May. Um, it's right before she has to go to a Paris, I believe, to start her European leg of the tour. But that to me is a place where wouldn't be shocked if those two show up together um, and make their big debut. So that's it for my Travis and Taylor rundown so far this week. You know, it's always crazy with these two. Who knows what's what's to come in the coming days, weeks, months. But of course, we'll keep you updated with everything you need to know. Would love to know in the comments your thoughts on everything Taylor and Travis, what they're going to be up to in these next couple of months. Um, is an engagement happening? Is it not? As always, please subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.